Let's take a look at how you can debug a build on Bitrise using remote access. Go to your app and then click on the failed build. Scroll down to view the build logs first to see what went wrong. Here, for example, you can see what caused the build to fail. There was a zipping error in the expose XC results as artifacts tab. Once you have found what went wrong, you will want to rebuild it with remote access. Go to the top of the page and click Rebuild with Remote Access. We will use the SSH command and password in a bit. Scroll down and click Follow to see what happens during the new build. Wait for the build to get to the point where the error happens. Here we can see that the issue is with our zip command. Now you can connect to the build machine to check what the current state of the build is. Now we are gonna SSH into the VM. Scroll up, copy the SSH command, open the terminal and paste it. Then copy the password and paste it too. You can change directory using the cd command. We want to check the deploy folder, so cd into the deploy directory. You can list the files and folders using the ls command. Now use the ls command to see what is actually inside the deploy folder. Here we see that the folders are called 1 run and 2 test. Let's check our workflow and see what needs to be changed in the expose XC results as artifacts tab. Ok, we can see that we tried to zip the wrong folders. Let's go ahead and update these in the steps input field using the folders we found when we checked the build machine and save it. Go back to the terminal and exit the VM. Ok, now that we updated that, let's run another build. Click the name of the app and start a new build. Click follow again. And ok, it's successful! Now let's see another example. Let's debug this iOS native app. This deploy build has failed as you can see. Let's go and take a look. Click on the build and scroll down to the bottom. You can see that the Xcode error hive step failed and if you scroll up a bit, you can see that there are some other error messages here. There is no provisioning profile for the team matching ad hoc wildcard. Let's go over the Xcode project. There you can see that the ad hoc wildcard is selected for the release builds. So we need to figure out what's wrong with the provisioning profiles on Bitrise. Go to your app's workflow editor and click on the code signing tab. There you can see your provision profiles already uploaded, the app store and the development types, and the code signing certificates, iPhone distribution and iPhone developer. Let's add the missing provisioning profile. Click and choose the ad hoc wildcard. Ok, great, it's there. Go ahead and start a new build. Happy building! Feel free to check out other videos on our channel. If you need help with anything else, let us know in the comments. Subscribe!